guys. Um, hope you guys are doing well and that you're staying safe and healthy. Um, today I am going to attempt to do the ship shipwrecked tumbler. Um, it's wood grain with ocean splashing on it. Um, Southern Glitter Goddess, <coughs> she has one on her YouTube channel and she really killed it. Um, so I'm going to post a link to that. Um, so today I'm going to be using a mug. This is a stainless steel mug. Um, I sell these in my store, islandmikasandmore.com. I now carry um, tumblers. I have 30 ounce skinnies, 20 ounce skinnies, the mugs, a wine cup, a 12 ounce kids, and then I have a 30 ounce um, modern curved tumbler. So I carry those and then I'm going to be using um, alcohol inks. I also carry these in the store. This is ginger. Um, when I do my wood grain, I like um, mine to be a little bit on the lighter side. Some people like espresso and other colors. They're a little bit darker, but like I said, and they even mix them too, but I like mine light, so I always use ginger. So the first thing you wanna do is spray paint your cup white, your stainless steel mug. And um, I got a little bit in the inside, I'm kinda messy, but it comes right out with acetone or um, a magic eraser. So I'm just gonna put it on here, on my tumbler football. I'm losing my train of thought. I'm talking too much. So anyways, the first thing I'm gonna do is a wood grain. And I'm gonna start from the top and I'm gonna do some drips. And then you wanna find the scratchiest, grossest paintbrush you can find. And I just brush down on it. It's super easy, guys, and it's really fun. Um, I should have gloves on when I'm doing this. And then you just wanna fill in the spots that you're missing. Some people get really creative and they can make like little knots in the wood. There's a lot of YouTube tutorials that you can go search and look up um, wood grain and knots and they can show you how to do that. I'm not into knotting. <laughs> I crack myself up. I just haven't mastered it yet. And we're just basically doing the whole cup like this. It's fun and super easy and you don't have to think that much. You're just filling in slots and brushing it down. And it's gonna give it a wood look. And I'm just, you can see I kind of start in different areas because then that gives it to where it's darker in some areas and lighter in others and kind of makes it look like wood. If you wanted it, wanted it to be much more darker and um, you only had one color if you wait about an hour for it to dry, you can go back over it. What happens if you don't wait for it to dry, like say I come here and put a little more, you can kind of see it lifts up. I don't know if you could see that. It lifts up the other alcohol ink and makes it darker. So you, if you want to make it darker, you should wait at least an hour for it to dry a little better.
try to get around here. Ah, I don't like when it goes sideways like that. There you go. You see the lifting? So I'll try to fix that a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna do around the handle. Trying to keep it up and down. a bit messy I don't know if you can see but I have splatters all around here but um on my workbenches I keep plastic shower curtains from the dollar store that way when it starts getting too bad you can just change it up make sure you get the underneath I'm kind of paying attention to what I'm doing and not looking in the camera to make sure you guys are in the shot. My cup is in the shot, so I hope you can see this. So that's where it ran and it made it a little lighter. Okay, and then you wanna focus on the bottom. Let me bring the camera up a bit. One second. Bloop. There we go. This would be cool um, to put your knot on the bottom. And then sometimes when you do the bottom, if you're not careful, it drips up. Okay, now, so that's what I got going for my wood grain. Now the question is to seal or not to seal. Um, some people like to seal their wood grain with a clear acrylic spray. Um, I choose not to because every time I do it, I have problems and mine turns green or some funky color. So what I do is I let my alcohol ink sit for 24 hours. So I'll come back tomorrow, it's one o'clock. I'll come back tomorrow at one o'clock and do my resin and it's completely fine. I don't have any issues, the, re the, the inks do not change colors and I don't have to seal. So I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours and I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna put some resin on this baby. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, so this is part two. It's been way over 24 hours. Um, the next part is I'm gonna put a clear layer, a little glitter on there, a clear layer of resin. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is to have a layer in between the inks, the old inks and the new inks that I'm gonna put. So that old, that new ink doesn't bring anything up out of that old ink. Like I showed you earlier, it can make it lighter, it can affect it even after 24 hours. So I didn't measure, a lot of people ask me how much resin this is. I don't know, I didn't measure. I made it extra because I had another cup to do. Um, and I like to make magnets with the leftovers. A friend of mine has a resin chart that tells you she's really good with cups and she knows all of the measurements and I'll try to get that up. Um, it tells you for each size cup how much resin you need. So I just drizzled the resin on and then I'm sliding it up with my gloved fingers. Making sure that everything's covered. Make sure you get the bottoms. And then we're going to apply some heat with, my, with your torch. You're going to want to use your respirator when you do this. And um, this is KS resin that I'm using. 
I've noticed with KS resin that it doesn't like a lot of heat. So a lot of people are getting um, divots in their cups, little potholes. You know, the resin isn't isn't adhering in certain spaces. I think you're using too much heat. You don't need that much heat. I'm just making sure that I get that handle well. The bottom, and if you brush with the upward motion, it evens it out. If you ever have too much resin on your cup, like in that area right there, you can just slide it right off and let it drip into the tray. Some people are hollering right now, resin abuse. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my torch. And my respirator. And I'm gonna hit it with the torch, very gently, not a lot. Here we go. In a up and down sweeping motion, I go back and forth fast not ever leaving it in one place to burn. Just like that, like one time around. And then I do the bottom and that's it. I'm gonna let this spin for about four to five hours, probably five, and then I'm gonna turn the spinner off. And then I'll come back at it again tomorrow with another layer and then we'll put our ocean in. Um, so that's the second part. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys. So um, the cup is ready for the next layer for the oceans. And I wanted to show you guys um, my aprons. I don't think I've showed these to you before. This is the adult version. Um, but if you're in the our Facebook group, Resin Fanatics, this is our official apron. It comes with pockets and an adjustable strap. And of course mine has resin all over it. But those are um, available in my store, islandmicasandmore.com. All right, so I'm putting it on and I'm gonna turn this cup on get it spinning so it's actually been a few days since I finished the first layer of resin I've really been slacking with everything with the um, COVID quarantine you know we're all in the house you would think I have so much time to do stuff but it's actually made me lazier and like I have no motivation I have to force myself to do stuff. I don't know if it's just with everything going on in the world, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm here and we're gonna do it. So on the heat gun, I have different little attachments, I can't think. And this is just, I'm gonna use this attachment and I'm only doing this because the Southern Glitter Goddess, her cup came out amazing. Um, I'll leave the link in the description to her channel and she used this tip and I have tried this cup before and of course I struggled with it the first time so hopefully this will come out good um, I'm gonna use pool from uh, Ranger and Baja blue from pinata and then of course pinata white and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another layer of resin going on there and I see a little dog hair big dog hair. So I had an Etsy shop now for like nine years where I would sell my resin art. Before I started making tutorials, the first thing I did was acrylic paintings and then I started selling resin art and then I started doing the tutorials. And I, I think it's been eight or nine years I've had the Etsy and I've only sold like a hundred items, which is not good for that many years. And Etsy's fees are really getting ridiculous. So, you know, most of my art I sell down at Sunset. 
But anyways, I decided since I have the Island Micah's website up and going and running smoothly that I would just start adding my art to that website and I put everything down. I reduced it to like ridiculously low prices and all the art that I do on my YouTube tutorials will now be on that website. So if you see something you like and you can go grab it. So I'm just putting a nice thin layer Um, I mixed up about two ounces, which is way too much. I always mix, mix way too much. And of course, I'm going to use it, like I say, for magnets. There is a chart that tells you how much, how many milliliters you should mix up for each cup, each cup size. And I'm going to see if there's some way I can get that in the description. Or maybe I could just pop it up now. And then you guys can screenshot it or something. I don't know if you're watching on a computer. You can pause it because I don't know how it works um, with writing it down in the description box. So I just want to make sure everything's covered. And I'm going to tell you now not to use a lot of heat. I'm not even going to attempt to pop the little micro bubbles. There's not that much. Anyways, um, I'm using KS Resin as always, the Liquid Art Ultra UV. As always, you can use my discount code Key West, and the link is in the description. But anyways, I'm blabbing. Um. It doesn't have that many bubbles and if you use too much heat these inks are going to go all over the place and it's not going to work and you're not going to get an ocean look so another cool thing that i noticed like when i'm doing molds and stuff my alcohol inks kind of pop the bubbles for me so i'm going to start with a pool and i'm going to do some drops just here and there. And then the white on top of it. When using alcohol inks, you always want to use white on top of your colors. It keeps them from muddying up and it makes them super bright. And pinata white is the best. Um, there's another one called um, snow caps. And you'll find out now my blue is stuck it's not the snow caps doesn't work very well it kind of makes some drip to the bottom and make some you know come to the top of your mold people who know who use snow caps know exactly what I'm talking about So I'm trying to hurry, my blue got stuck. I don't have a needle next to me to, to open the hole. I should have checked it before I did the video. This always happens. So I'm just getting my other pinata and filling up some blue and getting it all over myself, per, as usual. Should have kept my gloves on, guys. So now I'm putting gloves on even though my hands are all blue. Alright. 
So now this is the darker blue because I want to kind of have like a variation of dark and light blue to give it, you know, the ocean more depth. depth. And then you want to come over that darker blue with the white. And I'm just putting like a random drop of white at the top up here to create a wave. Maybe up there where there's no blue. Okay, now I'm gonna get my heat gun on low. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to blow it a little bit just to heat it up. Just a little bit. I have two settings on my heat gun. So I'm just going around it, heating it up. Maybe heating it up as it spins one time over. Maybe two. And then I wanna get my heat gun and kind of blow up one time and stop. See what I'm doing? The motion. Looking at the camera to make sure you see that I hit the cup. If you use too much um, heat, what's going to happen is it's all going to swirl together and be a big blur. Now, I want to break up my white a little bit to make it look more wavy. So I'm just letting it spin a couple times because it's really hot. But you see it's starting to pull together right there. And I just hit the white one time to break it up. You see that? I mean, I literally turned it on and turned it off. And that gives you the lacing effect. You see that? That's just straight alcohol ink. There's nothing in that. No casting craft, nothing. Just Blanco white from Pinata. And I want like some white maybe here. And maybe a little here. I'm creating waves now. Maybe there. And then again, I'm just going to let it spin a couple times around. Let that white sit, sit where it wants to go. Because when the cup is spinning, the white is moving. Maybe a little bit on the handle. You also have to know like when to stop. That's my big problem. And then I'm gonna remember on and off. You see how that has that pretty lacing right there? On and off. Oop, that one was on way too much. And I'm getting some pretty lacing effect. It looks like the ocean is going <laughs> and I don't like this area too much right here I'm gonna put one little drop of white and just wait a second probably overdoing it I mean it's kind of hard to mesh, mess up a, an ocean. There's no ocean created equally. And then break that up right there. And a little bit right there. And I think that is it. I think I should stop and leave it alone.
Eh, the little handle is bothering me. Too bad you guys can't talk back to me and be like, stop, Samantha, leave it alone. So I'm gonna put one more drop up here on the handle. And then I'm gonna let it spin a couple times over and then I'm gonna break it up. But that's pretty much how you do the ocean ship tumbler. I'm gonna come back with the heat. I don't want it to be so intense. And I'm getting the underneath of the handle. And there you go, I got a little bit of lacing on the handle. My handle's super frothy. So I had another idea. If I did it, I would do it in a different, like a different segment or whatever you call it, a different filming. But I have these, I've been seeing some people put lightning bolts on their ocean, on their ship wave cup, whatever. Um, this is Supernova by Southern Glitter Goddess, and they're really tiny. Um, they're little glass rhinestones. And I was thinking, like, what if I drew out some lightning bolts and then put these on here? It would, of course, have to fully cure, and then I'd have to come back with the bolts. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if I should try that or not in the comments and then if you think so then I will go for it so that is it and I hope you guys liked my ship wood, wood grain ship tumbler I don't know what they're called shipwrecked or something thank you guys for watching um stay healthy stay safe and I will see you next time bye bye